We have an elastic band that's hung from a hook and has a mass hung at the lower end of the band. The mass is pulled downward and follows a equation motion. S is equal to 2 cosine t plus 3 sine t, where t is greater than 0. S is measured in centimeters and t in seconds. So we want to find the velocity at time t. Um, velocity at time t, so we're given an equation. This is the s is the distance or where it's located. So it's simply going to be the derivative of this. s prime is going to be equal to, um, well, reversing these, so they end up being positive 3 cosine t minus 2 sine t. And next, um, I have a graph already made up. Um, so the Actually, um, the blue bluish one is the original equation, just the, the motion location, and then the speed is the red one. All right, so then we want to find um, where we have equilibrium, where the derivative, well, there's no speed, so the derivative is going to be equal to zero. So set this equal to zero. So three cosine t minus two sine t. Um, so what we can do here is uh, what I'll do is I'll put put this over here. So we got two sine t is equal to three cosine t. What I'm gonna do is divide through by. Um, So I'll manipulate this, and what I end up getting here is um, 2 sine t over 3 cosine t is equal to 1. So we end up with, uh, we end up here with, well, what we end up getting here, at, well, after some manipulation here, um, what we end up getting is uh, tangent, so I divide through by two-thirds or whatever, multiply or divide through. So I get tangent of t is equal to negative two-thirds. All right, so t is going to be equal to n pi plus tangent of one, because I had to take the arctangent negative two-thirds. I know this is right. So t is ultimately equal to pi minus the arc tangent of two thirds, which is approximately 2.55 seconds. So we want to find the extreme position. Um, so extreme position is where it's going to change direction. And at that point, the speed's going to be zero. So we set the derivative equal to zero. So um, 3 cosine t minus 2 sine t is equal to 0. Uh, let's see here. So uh, actually tangent of t is equal to 3 over 2. Actually, this was the first part. There was some mix up. Um, so ultimately, OK, so let's see here. So at that point, um, we find the uh, so pretty much um, tangent of three halves. So we know the cosine t is equal to two over the square root of thirteen, and the sine of t is equal to three over the square root of thirteen. And what we end up with is um, so our triangle. Um, so it's pretty much this on the bottom by a right, eight, right triangle with a base of two and a altitude of three. And then using Pythagorean theorem, we come up with 13, and which is approximately equal to 3.6 centimeters. That's, uh, that's how far it travels. All right, and then uh, speed is greatest when the object passes the mean position, so in the middle. Um, and that's simply just uh, what we had before, tangent of uh, t is equal to negative two-thirds. And we come up with t is equal to arc, well, arc tangent 
of negative two thirds. Let's see here. Um, plus n pi seconds. Okay. And that's it. So here's part D, here's part E, here's part C, and then here's our, um, all right, so we already graphed part B is up here with the graph, I'll move back up there. And then part A was the derivative, or find the velocity at time t, so that's just a general derivative. All right, and that's it.